Welcome back to Dragon Age 2, guys. Live from Dilemma City. I don't know what to do. Oh my goodness. We could try to take coin from him. And Burpees, be Burby, blah, 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 blah. Can't even talk straight. Be persuaded to go. Pay what we need to owe. Tell him to just pay us. Or say there's no need for violence. Or why don't we just ask Aveline? Because I don't know what to do. So let's just ask the ugly chick with the shoelace around her head. Care to step in here? Only because this toad deserves it. You have a choice. Pay, or I beat it out of you, and your men. Hey! Stay back. Just uh, take what's in the chest. Take it all. Now I'm getting out of here. Let those guards find someone else to buy Dogland junk. Well, that was easy. We become better friends with Aveline, even though I don't really like her. And we get the merchant's key to open up the merchant's chest, and we get two, two, two golds. He had that giant green chest, that humongous mechanical lock that looks very difficult to open, and it's hiding uh, two gold. Two gold coins. One, two. All right. I guess people in Dragon Age Land are a little bit strange with their monies. They need big boxes to protect little things. Maybe it's a metaphor. Um. Okay, so now... That was crazy. She just held up the dagger to him, and he was like, I'm afraid of you. I'm leaving. I'm going to go back to a Fenril, our elven friend, and say, Hey, look, we did your job. Give us bank. It's done. Will you look at that? Tell your uncle we'll make the arrangements. Welcome aboard. Achievement nefarious. We've joined the elf smugglers. I feel kind of guilty about doing evil things, but somebody's got to do bad things to get good places. That elf reminds me of someone I know. She looks awfully familiar. Like someone in real life. Like one of my aunts or cousins or something. I don't know. Just looks oddly familiar. Three points. What do you want to put them in? Strength, I don't see. I mean, that increases fortitude, which measures resistance to being knocked back. We don't really need that. Magic. Eh. We can increase our willpower, our cunning. Defense. Rogue's aptitude for picking locks. We don't really need that right now. I guess we'll up our health one. We'll put two more points in dex... Actually, let's go one in dexterity, one in constitution. And what about one in cunning? I guess just to keep that up. So when we need to disarm traps and things... We can do that. Let's do that. And now we've got an ability to pick. So, subterfuge, scoundrel, specialist, sabotage, archery, dual weapon. Let's check them out. This one is the unforgiving chain. Okay, we don't really like that one. We've got sabotage. That's the rush and knock people down. Or we could go with specialist, rogue attacks, much greater, greater speed. That one's kind of cool. I already feel like really fast, though. That's back to back armistice. The rogue distracts all of you starting a single party member drawing. I don't like, I don't really like ally moves. Or we could upgrade this. Oh, those require level 7. Evade? No. Let's go for the charge where we knock the dudes down. The sabotage move? Or let's do it. Physical force. Learn. Confirm. Yes, and we'll auto level you. How you doing? You're doing pretty well, looks like. Picking your points well. So we will, uh, we'll auto level her. Because she's wearing a shoelace for her hair. Around her hair. And we're in good shape now. I want to get to somewhere so I can put on that Isaac armor. Because I don't think I have it just in my inventory. Yeah, it's not It's not just chilling here. We've got to get somewhere. I don't even remember where it was. But I've got to get where I can see it. I think it's to like a, your like house or something where you have a chest. Alright, so we got to go talk to Gamron again. And say, yo, dude, we joined the evil elves. Any luck? It's done. I'll speak to a Thenril and see when the bribes can be made. Wait here. Then we made it. The voyage is over. So long as we're oh yeah, for a year, that's right. We'll see what happens when this debt is repaid. If only Carver were here with us. And Wesley. Let's go. This is only the beginning. Thus began the champion's first year in Kirkwall. Word arrived from across the sea that the hero of Ferelden had defeated the Blight. But Lothering was destroyed. Kirkwall was the champion's home now. So she remained, paying off her debt. Made a name for herself in the underworld. 
It was a busy year in the city. That's when the Kunari landed. A great storm had caught their ship and left hundreds of warriors stranded in the city, waiting to return home. That's also when the trouble began with the mages. The Templars had become very powerful under Knight Commander Meredith. But, most importantly, that's when I first met the champion. So it sounds like we're going to meet that troll dwarf guy now. And the Kunari, I always hated Kunari. When they landed in my village, I knew trouble was up and bad things were about to happen. So probably bad things are going to happen here. We can learn two specializations, one at 7 and one at 14. Very cool. That'll open up a new tree of talents here. How do you feel about this storytelling where they skip large chunks of time via these animated little scenes? I apologize. That's my dog screaming in the background. She's upset, I guess, about the animated scenes that skip time. Sort of like I am. I wish they would maybe give you in-game. I don't know. The animated scenes are cool, but I don't know how I feel about them being the main time gap. Draste's tits, human. You know how many people want to hire onto this expedition? But we heard you're going into the deep roads. Surely you'll need all the help you can- No! You're too late. Already done. This is a sort of venture that can make a man for life. I'm not about to take any chances hiring random humans. Okay, so here's Angry Dwarf Man. And he's got something out for us. We're trying to, I guess, join his venture. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, those animated sequences just skip so much, and then you're just dropped right back in. Hey, we have experience. We've fought and killed Darkspawn. How many of your hired men can say the same? Get in line, human. Half of Kirkwall wants to be my best friend right now. You're looking for a quick way out of the slums, right? You and every other Ferelden in this dump. Find another meal ticket. What are we supposed to do now? We've got nothing to stop the next person who tries to sell us out. This expedition was our last chance. Just relax. Don't worry, Bethany. I won't let any big bad Templars come get you. It's not a joke. If the Templars find me, the best I can hope is to be locked away for the rest of my life. If they don't kill me outright. We need coin, status, something we can hide behind. As long as we're just refugees, we're no one. Maybe Gamlin knows someone who can talk to Bartram for us. He always seems to know what's going on. We might as well ask. Otherwise, I don't know what we'll do. Loading, loading, loading. It's just by smiling at you. But you, you don't have the style to work high down, let alone the merchant's guild. You might want to find yourself a new line of work. <laughs> Off you go. How do you do? Merrick Tethras, at your service. I apologize for Bartrand. He wouldn't know an opportunity if it hit him square in the jaw. But you would. I would. What my brother doesn't realize is that we need someone like you. He would never admit it either. He's too proud. I, however, am quite practical. Okay, so this guy, the narrator dude, he is a nicer version of his evil brother. So, are, you know who we are? What makes you so certain we can help? You know nothing about us. Oh, on the contrary. You've made quite the name for yourself over the last year. The Coterie has been squeezing smugglers out left and right, and the only group to survive owes it all to you two. The name Hawk is on many lips these days. Not bad for a Ferelden fresh off the boat. And what about your Bethany? Our poor sister who's been wearing that scarf for a year. She's probably got the worst skin fungus underneath it a man has ever seen. You must have heard of my sister as well, then. Only a little. 
She is certainly welcome to come, but I'll leave that up to you. Frankly, I'd rather you take the credit. Madam, your secrets are safe with me. Find out what he's offering. We need a way into this expedition. Hmm. Should we tell her that your brother refused us? Or how do we reason? Let's say your brother refused us. He said he didn't need another guard. We don't need another hireling. We need a partner. The truth is, Bartran's been tearing his beard out trying to fund this on his own, but he can't do it. Invest in the expedition. Fifty sovereigns and he can't refuse. Not with me there to vouch for you. That's a lot of coin, man. Fifty sovereigns? I don't even know what that coin is. All I know about is gold and silver and bronze. It sounds interesting. But if I had any gold, I wouldn't need this job. You need to think big. There's only a brief window after a blight when the deep roads won't be crawling with dark spawn. The treasure you find down there could set you and your family up for life. It won't be easy, but it's a chance. I think we have to take it. Better to work our way into this expedition than sit around waiting to be thrown in the gallows. We work together, you and I, and before you know it, you'll have all the capital you need. What do you say? Hmm. Yeah, you better not be lying. Fine, we'll go with this. We gotta get into that expedition. Get our way out of this dumpy city. If this is a trick, you'll pay for it, dwarf. Wonderful. I'll take that as a yes. Kirkwell's crawling with work. You set aside some coin from every job and you'll have the money in no time. Maybe Aveline can find us some work. She's got a position with the city guard now. We should talk privately when you get the chance. In the hanged man, maybe. I'll be there when I'm not with you. Now, let's go see what trouble we can stir up. Okay, time to go. Keep a hand on your coin, Hawk. There are more. Whoa. Someone started talking to us. Time to go make some bank, make some money. A friend in the guard, Sir Isaac's armor. That's what we want to get. I wish RPGs were the point where you could just do crazy things. Like, for example, I could just say, hey, you know what? I don't want to have to go make money. I don't want to have to go pay, so... We're going to take off all our clothes, and Dwarf, how do you like that now? You're going to let us in your little party now? But <laughs> that doesn't work in a video game. Don't be silly. Ghost Robo, all right. So let's look at our quests here. And let's activate Sir Isaac's armor. I want to go home and check the special livery storage quest. Let's make this our active one. I guess we can level up our dear friends here. Oh, Varric is now in our party. Sweet! Okay, so... The mage will upgrade her magic. Two to the magic. Hmm. And what? I guess defense cunning. That's probably a good good bet. Now we gave her the creation spell. What's what's this next one up here? Glyph of paralysis. Okay. We can go with the entropy. Hex of torment. These further along things are pretty crazy. This is ma mage afflicts foe with lesser form of all entropic entropic spells. This chaotic energy sort Sleep makes them go to sleep. What's the end of the creation? Or whoops, the end of the creation tree here. Haste. Okay, those are all like buffs. This one, elemental mastery. Okay, we could upgrade our flame here. A larger area, and then we get firestorm, a shower of flames, or we go right to cone of cold. Okay, what if we can we upgrade these things? No, those are level six spells. Okay, what's in the spirit realm? Hmm, the bolt. The magic bow, walking bomb. I like that one. I like that one. So we're gonna buy this so we can get the walking bomb thing. Boom. We'll go with that. And what is what is this guy? He needs strength, dude. Aren't you a warrior? Or maybe not, because he's a uh, he's got that bow. So I guess he's not really a warrior. But we'll upgrade. We will upgrade his strength. Eh, not really. Let's go with dexterity, constitution, willpower. Boom. And now let's pick something for him. He needs arrow attacks. Bianca, that must be the name of his little sword. His treasured crossbow, Bianca! Okay, so. What say you? Bursting arrow. Showering the area in shrapnel and flames. He already has this pinning shot one. We saw him use that against that smuggler guy. Let's do this bursting arrow, baby. Make him our long-range dude. Alright, now let's go find Sir Isaac's armor. Walking this way through the city. This reminds me a lot of the Final Fantasy XII city. And Assassin's Creed, kind of mixed together. High Town Market, that's a very generic font. Hubert! Another Ferelden Street rat? 
Are you here to waste my time, or do you actually have coin to spend? Okay, Aladdin, mind your manners. Greet customers that way, and you'll earn more beatings than coins. Hey, I'm having a bad week. There are few Ferelden's of means in Kirkwall. Forgive me. Let's see what this dude are sells. You an armorer, a weaponsmith. My stock is varied. What all my wares have in common, however, is quality. Only the best for my distinguished patrons. See for yourself. So the dude looks like Aladdin and sounds like a French frog prince. Let's shop at your Do shop. You intend to make a purchase this time? Oh, there we go. Uber's fine goods. What do you have, Uber? Enchanted staff. We can't use those, but we could use these robes, maybe. They require too much magic. All right, so I don't really... It's too early. I like to buy anything, I think. So, goodbye. We're just going to go get that armor. Because I want to test it out, see what it looks like. Worthy. Dude, you're like a quest monster, I think. I'll talk to you anyway. Hawk, long time no see, my friend. Worthy. Not nearly long enough, I think. <laughs> still have that chip on your shoulder, I see. You aren't still working for Athenral, are you? Your year must be up by now. Apparently we're friends with all sorts of trolls and dwarfs and dastardly fools and... Goons and goblins nosy, aren't you? Still trying to ferret out everyone's business, I see. <laughs> of course. How else do you expect a dwarf to make a living? I'll tell you what. I still have my old contacts. You need some rune crafting done, I can arrange it for you. Take care, Hawk. Don't get dead. Achievement? What was that for? For unlocking crafting? You unlocked a crafting station. Let's check it out. Don't get dead. That's the phrase of the day. Don't get dead. Don't get dead. Don't get dead. You can order runes if you discover the right combination of resources. So the rune of protection requires money. Those are the resources, apparently. I see. We can't really afford anything, anything there. So goodbye. We'll come back at a later time. No, I want to... Is that our house, I'm guessing? Stop talking about Carver. We, he's a dead man. Is that house our house, or brother. is that arrow down there our house? Fine. I got a spare. <laughs> whatever our guy's name is, Vikas, or whatever his name is, Varric, he has an extra brother. He says that he's more than willing to lend us. Where am I going? I'm trying to find my house so I can go check out this Sir Isaac armor before we wrap this episode up, but I, I don't know how to get out of here. Maybe we have to go this way. There we go. Okay, so we go this way. We'll walk up and then down. Go check out our house, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. We're moving towards that arrow. Because I really want to check out this armor before I, I do any more quests. Because what you look like means a lot to me. I'm hoping that gold little arrow that's down at the bottom is highlighting where we need to go. The Viscount's Way. Please lead us to our house. Please. Where are we going? Where are we going? I don't... That's where I need to go for Sir Isaac's armor? What? What are these houses, though? Leave area. Where is my home? Oh, that's the plot point, but where is my quest? Hmm. Let's see. I thought that I said I wanted to go see Sir Isaac's armor. Okay, what happens if we do this? We have to go home no matter what. That's what we gotta do, okay? Are they all gonna lead us this way? Let's see. Let's see. Let's look at the map. They all lead us that way. Okay, so we're going through the Viscount's keep, I guess, to our house. This is where we live, apparently. When you level up, don't forget to spend both your attribute and ability points. Whoa! Mind blown. Gosh. These help screens are like drugs. I'm addicted to them. They give me all sorts of magical tips and tricks that I couldn't find anywhere else. Especially not in the instruction booklet or from my own mind. Enemy assassins can stealth across the battlefield. Whoa. Mind blown. All right, let's go to our house. Running through the castle here. We live inside the castle, apparently. That's very cool. I want to live in the castle. I want to live in a castle. We've entered a companion's home base. Is this my home base? Maybe. There's Avalyn. Strangely, this is the best place in the city for working shell games and changing old coins. Ooh. Where is our, uh... Is there a doohickey? Let's talk. I guess we talked to Aveline, I guess. What's up, Aveline?
turn around. Aveline. Hello, Hawk. Nice to see I missed. What? Oh, right. Sorry. It feels like we just talked. I've been keeping an eye on you. Information is one of the few perks of this job. Watch out for Bartrand. He's a son of a bitch. Spine again? You know I don't like it when you have people watch me. Saved me camping on your doorstep. After what we went through to get here, I... Well, you're no child, but I take care of my friends. The places they have me patrolling, I've got time. Bartrand is kind of like my only option. I don't know how else to get there, so what's so bad about him? I'm a Ferelden in Kirkwall. I don't have much say in who I deal with. Bust some teeth, then buy the drinks. It worked here, but guards can be strange like that. You have a unique charm, Aveline. I doubt the same would work on the dwarf. If you're stuck, at least bring me along. I could sleep through the jobs I'm given here. In fact, I might have a job for you. Let me know if you want to do a favor for Kirkwall. Otherwise, I'm here if you need me. Maker knows I could use more satisfying work. Let's ask what the job is. All right, Aveline. You have something worth doing? My patrols may be empty walks in the dark, but there's something big coming up, and I could use you. An ambush, probably for a caravan, although I can't find any shipments that match up. Doesn't matter, though. I women waiting for someone to rob. I'm putting a stop to it, my district or not. Hmm. I guess we'll do it, why not? All right. Let's go break some necks for the greater good. I knew I could count on you. They're hidden up Sundermount, remote and rough, but we can make good time with a shortcut this side. And no, you can't run off and do it without me. I trust you, but I have to be there. You're acting on behalf of the guard. Okay, so that's a new quest, but what I want to find, I want to find my magic chest that has the Isaac armor in it. That's, where is this at? I want to make this my active quest, not the main plot. I understand that's what all this nonsense is up here. Main plot, okay, deliver f blah, blah, blah. Bring 50 sovereigns of Bartrand and become a partner, okay. Talk to Varric. Go to Gatlin's hometown in Lowtown, whatever. This is what I want. I want Sir Isaac's armor, so show me the money. Show me the way to get to that armor. Where is it? Why can't we see it? It's not in here, apparently, at all. Hmm. We're going to have to leave this place. I guess maybe. Maybe we'll have to find Sir Isaac's armor's next episode. Because, guys, I think we're going to have to wrap this up. So the quest for Dead Space Gear continues into the next chapter uh whoa gather our party okay that's weird we're leaving the area world map whoa we can go all sorts of places gamlin's house i guess that's where we're staying let's let's do that maybe we can pick this up maybe we can pick it up can't travel there apparently low town uh, i don't know i guess we'll end here on this screen because i don't know where i'm going we'll have to find sir isaac's armor some other time continue our quest get our money so we can join the expedition Thank you guys for joining my expedition. I really appreciate it. Take an extra second out of your day to hit that like button. Hit that thumbs up for me. I would greatly appreciate it. And until next time, y'all, we will see you later.